good afternoon. My name is Shilavit Teke Joshi. I am working with the True Story India and supporting uh, our principals for the, their business promotions. And now I introduce Mr. Thorsten. Yes, hello. My name is Thorsten Kaiser. I'm working in the Trotschan on Woven Group and I'm the responsible area manager for India. And we are very pleased to be here. We have three very good days so far. It was a pleasure to be here meeting many customers. The Trotschan non Wovens, we are a machine manufacturer for the complete line solution. So from bale opening all the way down to the winding uh, in this very vast program and world of non wovens when you have entered in this market, Indian market, as a non-woman, spilling the they are there, that We are since many years in the non-woven. Uh, non-woven is still a developing market. Uh, in some countries it's more developed than in other countries. But as non-woven has many applications, it can be the hygiene, it can be medical production, it can be geotextile. It can be technical textile, what we see a lot here on the show. Uh, so it's very vast range to cover. Uh, as we are working in spun lace technology, uh, this is mainly products like wipes, uh, also for hygiene purposes. This market is still developing in India. We have other parts of the world where it's more developed and other parts where it's less developed. We have experienced here in India now on the show a big interest. So we believe strongly in the material of India, which is cotton. Uh, because cotton is a recyclable material, it's a biodegradable material. And this is what the world currently is asking for. Uh, so I think India has a great potential to become an export leader for non-wovens made out of cotton. Share any market details, market shares, or how is the market in India? There are in India there are a couple of non-woven lines. Uh, much many of their products are exported already, but there is also some local products, uh, and I think this number will increase. So the awareness of hygiene and the advantages of such uh, products is getting bigger. So consumers are more conscious about hygiene and with this demand the market will grow. And we are having the right machinery to process also the cotton. So cotton is a material that is not so easy to handle compared to synthetic fibers. Uh, and here we, we have done a lot of development, especially on the web forming, that means carding in particular. So we have a various series of machines where we can handle the virgin cotton but also the common oil cotton. So many of the potential customers or the existing customers they come from the spinning. They know spinning a lot so they have common oil and they have two choices. Either they sell the common oil or they make a product out of it. So the potential is there to invest into new market, to gain new market share in a different segment which could be non -bowl. And uh, do you have the R&D center in your in fact, the Trutscher Non-Woven Group um, has a big R&D department in two places. One is close to Frankfurt and one is close to Aachen. Uh, there we are developing our machines. We do also a lot of product testing. So we do development uh, together with our customers. We have a technical development center which is 5,000 square meters big with all types of machinery, very flexible lines. So what we can do, we can produce the web uh, from the customer's fibers. And this is a big advantage. So the customer, when he enters this market, he doesn't know what he can expect, what variety of products he can produce with his fibers. So we can do the blending for him, we do the carding, we do the web bonding, uh, the whole process, and he can carry back home the finished material and he sees exactly the result. So this is a big strength uh, of Trotschern. Okay. And how many percentage of the revenue would keep for the R&D? Ah, this is changing a lot. Uh, we, we are changing our priorities mm -hmm. according to the need of the market. 
So there are times where we feel like we have to do stronger development and then we have less development, but we are always in the process of continuing and doing product improvement. Also when it comes to industry 4 plus zero, there is also development money flowing into that. Uh, we have certain programs on the machine, how to improve to make them more efficient, energy saving, cost saving, etc. You know, there is always room for improvement and we are working hard on that. Any percentage you don't have? So. Sorry, but we are on YouTube. I cannot yeah, talk no, about this. Okay. This was already enough what I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you agree? Yeah, yeah. And uh, what is the purpose of participation in Textel India? As I said earlier, we believe for India, a good way to market is exporting the copper. As it is the material, that can replace, and I'm sure it will replace, in the western states, uh, industrial countries, will replace a lot the polypropylene and the polyester. Uh, these countries, they don't have their own cotton production. Uh, India has experience and knows the cotton very well. So we think that this is the way how Indian customers can create new business. This is why we are coming here. We want to show them all the advantages of the cotton, and we want to show them the machinery because you cannot simply process cotton on a line that is supposed to run synthetic stable fibers. It's different, it's much more tricky. So Actually, we have right machinery combination. Okay. Together with, and since we have Indian subsidiary, we can also support them in technological background. So there are the twin advantages available when customer look for Tushler as a machinery or a supplier. That is a big advantage. For us it's good to have ATE in the loop because ATE they know the market, we know the machines, so we can also adjust our developments based on the market needs. And we think we have a good portfolio now to cover this cotton range. And this is what we have done on Tech Textile, we have promoted a lot uh, this uh, material. So as an Indian friend, how do you see the potential of this machine in the future? Sure, machines, the technology is available. Indian subsidiary, as, as a Trushler Indian subsidy, we have big presence in a normal cotton spinning machinery. And uh, we expect this business will also grow over a period. And uh, we are there to support our, our own group company to develop this product, especially for the Indian market. Okay. So, it's a good show for you. What is a show for response for you? For me, I was very, yeah. very happy with the show. We made very good contacts. We met existing customers, of course. We did a lot, lot of networking, but also new customers were coming to us who really want to die, want to, you know, invest into new material, into new other options rather than spinning. And I think we had some serious uh, requests. So we go home with a lot of work. We do our homework and. Uh, I'm very excited, so I'm very pleased. And I can only thank the Indian customers for this big participation. Uh, it was very nice to see these prospects coming up. Okay. So AT is a good partner for you? Very good partner, yeah. yes. Okay. We are working since many years, and we are very happy with their performance and the results. Okay. Anything else you would like to say about the Indian market and growth? 